Jay, this is a story of Gwendolyn, the miracle hen. Out in the country, far from town, there lived a man named Farmer Brown. Between the fences he had built, his pastures made a patchwork quilt. From dawn to dusk with plow and hoe, he worked his land to make things grow. At night, he brought his pigs and sheep and hens inside his barn to sleep with Jack the horse who pulled the plow and Bessie his contented cow. Now Farmer Brown was kind and good and did the things a farmer should. He kept them warm from winter's chill and cared for them when they were ill. Each month, a Mr. Meany went to Farmer Brown's to get the rent. One month, there came a sad, sad day when Farmer Brown just couldn't pay. We have to help, said Bess the cow. Of course we do, said Jack, but how? Cluck, cluck, said Gwendolyn. You'll see. Just leave the whole thing up to me. The rooster crowed when night was done. Above the hilltop crept the sun. The farmer came, he had a pail, it bore a sign, fresh eggs for sale. He took each egg and put it in until he came to Gwendolyn. And then he got a huge surprise. He looked, he stared, he blinked his eyes. Oh no, he cried, this can't be true. The egg she laid was green and blue. He ran back home and called the vet. Please come, he said. My, le my hand's upset. The vet just stared. I've uh, never seen a chicken egg that's blue and green. He called his friend Professor C, the famous egg authority, who looked and said, Upon my word, a most extraordinary bird. He sent it to a widely known museum where the egg was shown between some ancient meteors and prehistoric dinosaurs beneath a do not handle card watched over by a full-time guard. The story spread. When people heard, they flocked to see the famous bird. Soon, Gwendolyn laid many more, each better than the one before. They came in beautiful designs with many different colored lines and floral prints with curly cues in yellows, purples, reds, and blues. So Farmer Brown set up a shop. And after tending to his crop, he stood upon a box and cried, Just step up, folks, and come inside. You can get your colored eggs right here. Come buy one as a souvenir. No two alike, they're custom laid. And every single one is made by Gwendolyn, who soon will be the best known hen in history. And as he made this little speech, he sold them for a dollar each. The money soon was pouring in and all because of Gwendolyn. The farmer saved his cash and then when Mr. Meany came again, he said to him, I've uh, had a start, and I can pay the rent in part. Old Mr. Meany's voice was gruff. He answered him, That's not enough. But if you let me have that hen, I'll never bother you again. Poor Farmer Brown cried, No, no, no. He didn't want to let her go. My mind's made up. Old Meany said, I take the hen or farm instead. So Gwendolyn was snatched away by Mr. Meany that same day. At home he settled down to wait and watched the eggs accumulate. The hours passed. 3.30, 4. I can't watch, keep up this watch anymore. He 
gave himself a little shake and rubbed his eyes to stay awake. And then he heard a funny sound. And when he turned to look around, he clapped his hands and cried, It's laid! I have an egg! My fortune's made! He picked her up to see his prize. He looked, he stared, he blinked his eyes. The egg was very small and white. For this, I've waited half the night. He cried, I've had enough, no more. And he threw the hen right out the door. Then Gwendolyn went through the town and found the home of Farmer Brown, flew to her roost without a peep, and closed her eyes and went to sleep. From that time on, no more was heard of Harmer Brown's amazing bird. Now most folks say that farmer's hen, that the farmer's hen is laying plain white eggs again. But now and then, when rent time nears, a multicolored egg appears. Egg. Do you know what's the first letter in egg? E. E, right.